All right, this is a quick comparison review of the Suray AT125 tripod and the Suray AM225 tripod. Now, right off the bat, let's get them on the scale here. As I'm going to tell you right off, the spoiler alert is the AT125 is actually lighter weight. So at one pound, nine ounces, bare tripod for the AM225. And one pound, 7.6 ounces, bare tripod for the AT125. Now, this particular one came in this bag. It came, I, I purchased it with a little pan head, which honestly I have not even tested out yet, but for anyone who cares, a little arc of plate out that came with it. Got that on there. 9.3 ounces. Now, personally, if I'm shooting, I like to run this little Leofoto LH22 ball head. For its size, four ounces. It has a great amount of holding power. And then for camera work or glassing with a spotting scope, I like this KB20 Malka. And that is 4.4 ounces. Now, I will say I did add this little ultralight Arca clamp on there. It did save about uh, about a half of an ounce. Okay, so the main thing right off the bat, this being your more traditional style of tripod, if I'm just going to compare these side by side, you can see that the AM225 is a more compact if you will packable option it is it's narrower by dimension okay um, and it's slightly shorter all else being equal um, but honestly that's where the advantages start to taper off uh, being less weight but you all already can see that you've got thicker legs here with the the AT125 than the AM225, um, and that's gonna that's gonna bear out in just a tad more stability. I found um, in the AT125. Again, all else being equal. Now, um, again with a more of a standard. Set this one up. More of a standard style. Of tripod here with the legs and the twist lock style so you've got uh, a fairly narrow end section I found that I honestly do not use this one much because of how how thin it is and you can see if you can tell there's wobble tightened down you now the wobble is probably not noticeable on camera, but I can flex that pretty well just by hand. If I was to just have those bottom sections out, let's see if this will capture well <clears throat> film, you're going to have a fair amount of twist in that bottom play. Now, by comparison, I can open this one just with the bottom leg here. I'm going to show you these little twist locks here in a second, too, because they are pretty innovative. Okay, so right off the bat, you're going to see thicker bottom legs on the AT125. 
125. But far less twist and play in that bottom section. If you're just comparing comparing these side by side in that, that last section and how useful it is, obviously AT25 is going to beat it with that that thicker that thicker final leg section. Okay, so while I have this open here, this is, in my opinion, the neatest feature of these. So if you haven't seen how these actually work, it's a single twist, but there's multiple, you can hear it click. One, two, three. Let's see, you know, do it all. Let's see, one, two, three clicks and then it you just pull it straight out I missed a click there we go four clicks so full straight out and then you retwist to tighten it and you get all the height you need um, I just pull these all up here I would say it is, in fact, I'm going to do a quick quick show and tell how quick that is going to, going to operate. Now, it also has the center post that you can extend. Which, you know, for me, I honestly, that is the, that's the only thing I would prefer Oh, you know, in the AM225 is I do, I would prefer not having the center post. All else being equal, I like a narrower profile. If they made these kind of legs in the AT120, AT125 and made a version without the center post, it would be smaller, more compact. That would, that would be my, my ticket. I don't need the extra height necessarily that this is going to give me. Now, if I want to save a couple ounces... Yeah, maybe not quite a couple ounces. I can pull this upper section off. And that slides out. And then I can just run it without this piece, which this piece is going to save me 1.4 ounces. To leave that behind not a huge bit deal if you need the extra height and then if you're not familiar with this plunger style to give you both sizes of threads so I've got the smaller size of thread I just need to push down and it goes over that plunger I get it to connect and it twists on. Now contrast that with the AM225. You have a reversible headpiece here. If I can get it out. Untwist it all the way. And this, so you can go with either size of threads. You can flip that around to get the correct size depending on what your, your head is going to require. You know, I mean, all else being equal, obviously the there's, there's less going on, if you will. I mean, there's, this is, you know, probably a simpler mechanism than the, the plunger style, but the plunger style does seem to be overall less weight. So if you are weight conscious, which if you're buying a lightweight carbon fiber tripod, you're probably pretty weight conscious overall. Let's get that back on there.
And that's what you get. Thread that on. So, okay, so here is, again, the main advantage is these legs and how fast. So I've got this one right now fully extended. I'm just, just watch the clock. Let's see how long this is going to take. So, and I'm going to go. So click, 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 click. Collapsed. Click, 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 click. I'm collapsed. Click, 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 and I'm collapsed. I'm done. It's that quick. Same thing in reverse. If I want to extend it, click, 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 twist. I'm done. Click, 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 twist. I'm done. And I'm done. So let's compare that. Set that off to the side here with your more traditional style. Get this back to where it began. Now, if you haven't done this before, that if, if you have the, the twist locks all together like this, you can, it's a little bit of a trick with some practice, you can grab them all together and you can twist them out and you can get your full extension, but then you gotta go back through individually to tighten them all down. Twist, twist, twist. Twist, 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 twist. So you can see already quite a bit more time to put the AM225 together and the AT125. Now to get it back apart, Obviously, everything in reverse. I'm going to twist each of the locks free. Collapse them together. Twist them together. Twist them free. Twist them free. Collapse back together. I mean, it's, it's not certainly a deal breaker as far as the time difference but if you're looking for something quicker then the AT125 is going to be the ticket okay I'm going to collapse this back down okay so now the other I, I would say main feature that I'm already seeing that I enjoy more is the style of of button depress that you you have to work with to open the legs so it, it automatically locks in in the first position but if you want it to go to the next position out you depress it but it's spring loaded so you depress it and you let it go and it stops where it needs to go now it's only got the three settings so one, two, three, and if you depress it further, it can totally invert on itself, right? So that's a little bit easier to manage than the AM225 style of lock. So on these, you have to pop that out and it stays out until you go all the way to the top, clicks in place, and then you can go back down to the clicks that you want it to go to, to the position. Now you can go a half click or just, just hold it out with your fingers and then you've got your one, two, three settings, but it just, again, just a hair more time to make that happen. Okay, now if you're using this tripod to shoot with for say a rifle system. The AM225 is going to be about as low profile as you're going to be able to get. So if you want to get really low prone, that's going to be the ticket. However, on all of my rifles, I end up needing to be at least one leg depressed to get me just high enough that I can get a rear back under it and still be level with the rest of the rifle. 
So the advantage of the lower height is eaten up in the fact that you don't really need that low of a profile. And at the end of the day, this one goes nearly as low with the without the, the longer center post. So if you want to compare side by side, just a hair, I mean we're talking within within an inch height, man, maybe two inches. A little bit lower profile with the uh, the uh, 225, but not by much. Now, if you're going to use this in this shorter configuration, I'm going to say either tripod is about as rock solid as you're going to need for prone up to probably kneeling uh, kneeling height if you're using it as a shooting shooting support. Both are, are very, very solid little tripods. It's just when you start getting into that standing height, if that's important to you, that this last leg section being quite a bit thicker there, that makes a big difference. And like I said, this, this twist lock system and how quick that operates, that is, that's where the money's at right there. That is the ticket. Because so that is way quicker than your conventional, your conventional style of lock, your leg lock. So, any questions you might have, this is the AT125 from Sue Ray and uh, the little Leo Photo LH22. Good combo for glassing, for camera work, for even a shooting platform. For a lightweight, uh, a white, lightweight tripod system that honestly isn't going to break the bank. Um, I want to say, I have to look at the receipt. I want to say this one on Amazon with the pan head was just a little over a hundred bucks. So hard to beat that value. It was on sale for sure. I'll say the 225 is still going to be priced higher. They might be coming down now that the AT120, AT125 is coming out. But both are, both are awesome values. Um, and you get a lot for the money, but at the end of the day, this is the new kid on the block, and it's it's a heck of a little tripod. If this is if this is what you're needing, if you need a short, uh, if you need a really compact little package, this is this is the ticket. So, any comments? Put them in the in the uh, in the comments below, and I'll see if I can get to them. Thanks, and have a great day.